long-term dream for decades in the making, involving some key individuals who planted seeds and nurtured them to create the structure before you now. A number of these persons are recognized on various plaques and signage throughout the building. They honor some who are no longer with us, especially David Drayton, who worked so long and hard Others, like the members of the Southern Georgetown Leadership Group, who are still working with gusto for this project's ongoing success. Others, like Sharon Waterman, who helped to coordinate the work of local citizens. Additional champions have been members of Georgetown County Council, both past and present, especially Everett Carolina, along with current County Administrator Angela Christian and past County Administrator Sel Hemingway. And of course, architect Michael Walker designed this beautiful structure and the men of coastal structures led on site by Brad Jenkins and Thomas Ray built it board by board and brick by brick. Thomas, excuse me, county employees also helped on the engineering side led by engineering and capital projects manager Art Baker and on the library side led by director Dwight McInville and associate director Trudy Baysmore. And on the inside the opening day book collection for this new facility was made possible by the Elsie Beavers Carver and E. Lois Carver Educational Fund of the Waccamaw Community Foundation, by the Francis P. Bunnell Foundation, and by the Friends of the Waccamaw Library. And soon we will have an outdoor pavilion too, thanks to a recent Healthy People, Healthy Carolinas grant provided through Live Well, Georgetown County. Georgetown County First Library was started in 1798. Georgetown County recognized the importance of libraries and started making enhancements to its library system in the 1980s. The county's main library branch moved from the intersection of High Market and Scriven Streets to Cleveland Street in 1989. After the construction of the new facility, which it stands now on Cleveland Street, Around the same time, the Andrews Branch and the Waccamaw Neck Branch were also constructed. The Collins Bay Library Branch was constructed later in 2006. Almost 22 years ago, the facility we are celebrating here today began as an idea submitted by the Cultural Resources Committee during Georgetown County's vision strategic planning process in 1999. Many citizens and former community leaders were involved in that process. Many critics came forward to speak out against not only this project, but the library system as a whole. They suggested that libraries were dated and on the way of being obsolete. Does anyone still use the library these days, they asked. Well, critics soon got the answer to that question. Georgetown County's library director, Dwight McInville, did not take that insinuation lightly. Dwight believed that literacy and learning goals go far beyond reading, and he fully understands how technology is shaping the future of libraries. Dwight has kept Georgetown County on the forefront of new technological trends in changing and expanding the way Georgetown County's library system provides services to our citizens and visitors alike. As a matter of fact, Dwight and his staff may have set a few trends right here in Georgetown County. So yes, libraries are relevant in today's digital age. In 2014, a local organization, the Southern Georgetown Leadership Group, initiated dialogue with members of Georgetown County Council that reignited the idea from 1999. New energy was prompted, fundraisers were organized, thousands of dollars were raised, and the county's other library branches began saving books to contribute to stocking these shelves. Now, here we are today, standing in outside a beautiful facility that is the fruition of efforts made by so many, and I know that it will be a resource and asset to our county for decades to come. On April 17th, 2019, the groundbreaking event, at that time I commented, we are almost there. On today's date, February the 11th, 2021, I can now say, job completed, we enter to learn. This library is an investment in the future of our children. It's more than bricks, mortar, books and shelves, but it will be a gathering place for ideas. 
Our goal is to make this library a central hub providing an open environment to access the world of knowledge through mentoring, networking, collaboration, and to provide quality resources for personal growth and lifelong learning. There were many people of the North Santee, Sanford, and Lambertown communities who dreamed of this new library. Daniel Bratcher, Reuben Davis, David Britton, Emma Stafford, Earl Drayton, and Edna Wright, to name a few. We thank them for their vision. We thank them for their determination. We thank them for their generosity and their service, which is so important today. Now, as we cut this ribbon and walk through these doors, we will continue our learning, our yearning to learn, and especially for our young people. <laughs> Sheila Sullivan, this, the shade structure behind the facility here, uh, Sheila, worked with a, a local group here, who, and the local group's already been recognized, and was able to secure a grant to make that possible. And, that, and we're going to have the David Britton Outdoor Chamber. I'm not allowed to name a building after someone, but I can get around it by naming a room, okay? <laughs> so that's going to be behind the building. We miss David very much. <laughs>